You're listening to Dr. Anne West with Truth from the Source. Join me every first Sunday of the month while I'm traveling through Europe at 12 noon until 1 p.m. to discuss important life, health, metaphysical, and environmental issues that could affect the well-being of our lives. Hello, Dr. Anne West bringing you Truth from the Source. If you've just joined us today for the first time, stay tuned. There's probably something especially for you to hear. Every month, we share with you progressive information to assist those of us who are willing to be a part of the world's solutions and not a part of the problem. So stay with us and share in the alternative ways to heal yourself and your world around you. Welcome to Truth From The Source. Today's show is about the ultimate destination, which is enlightenment. This is part two with Yogani from Advanced Yogic Practices. And you can go to his website at www.aypsite.org. The ultimate destination is enlightenment. What is enlightenment? It's a state of balanced union between our two natures, pure bliss consciousness and our sensory involvement on this physical earth. That is the definition of yoga and the destination of all religions. So today's show is about meditation, heading to enlightenment. In this show, we will discuss the fundamental tools of meditation as well as the more profound experiences that may arise from meditation. So stay with us as we dive deep into the wonderful world of enlightenment. I'm Dr. Anne West, and I'd like to welcome Yoga. Welcome, Yogani, to Truth from the Source. It's lovely to have you back here for our second part of our path to enlightenment. And this part, as you know, is about meditation. So welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me back, Dr. Anne. It's good to be here. Yes, wonderful. So let's dive in deep. Let's look at meditation and how meditation actually changes our deepest functioning biologically and neurologically. Yes, it really is amazing how a simple mental technique can can do that, uh, slowing down the metabolism, even stopping the breath at times, and creating uh, a lot of purification and opening inside the nervous system. Now, stopping the breath, that's an extremely advanced practice, isn't it? Well, it isn't really in this approach. Um, there are traditions where stopping the breath is a goal uh, and, a, and a, a practice in itself. Yes. And in deep meditation, that is not the case. Uh, what happens is, is when you practice this technique, which I'm sure we'll be talking about more as we go along here, yes. but as we practice the technique, the metabolism slows down the breast slows down and as that happens the thinking process also goes to stillness and when it all comes to rest uh, the breath can can pause automatically for a few seconds or half a minute even sometimes and you don't even notice it it's not intentional it's a byproduct of the nervous system settling down and that's opposed to other techniques that actually work with the breath consciously Um, And we're not doing that in deep meditation. We're using the thinking process alone to cause all of this settling down in the nervous system, which is quite amazing. I do know of a practice that I was involved with for for a while, which was actually focusing on the goal being to have no breath. It can be a, a euphoric experience when it actually happens, but at the same time, it can be very, it can kind of bog you down with too much mental stuff going on, I think. You mean uh, while you're trying to slow the breath down? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's not the case with the technique that we use in AYP. Yes. Um, in AYP, we use uh, the thought of a sound, which uh, is called a mantra, and it's a very simple mantra. Uh, the mantra we use in AYP is I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is, that is the English pronunciation of I am, but it is not the meaning of I am. It's just the sound. You can spell it A-Y-A-M also, or if we weren't 
reading it on a page, it would just be a verbal sound, I am, mm -hmm. with no meaning attached to it. And we use that sound in a very particular way. And uh, there's no strain about it. It's very relaxed. We just easily favor the sound. And when we find ourselves off into thoughts, and we realize we're off into thoughts, then we just easily come back to the, the sound of the mantra. It's, it's that simple. Um, it's also a very specific technique in that we do that technique for our 15 or 20 minute session, uh, whatever we've determined our session is, that's how long we do it. And that's all we do is that technique. So if we're practicing and uh, we realize that we're working on the grocery list, <laughs> yes. or we're thinking about our breath or we're thinking about our leg being uncomfortable or whatever we just if the leg is uncomfortable we can just move it and whatever we're off into when we realize we've done that we're, we're that our mind has taken over with something then we just easily come back to the mantra mm -hmm. it's that simple yes it is very no simple no effort at all now as you know I'm you know, I'm the guinea pig for this whole experiment that we're doing. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you had started. <laughs> oh, yes, I definitely have started. And so, because, you know, I've had my own practice, as you know, for, for 17 years, of, and I've, I've dabbled in a few different paths, but had my main practice that I learned in India from my teacher. Um, but I really wanted to try and uh, experiment with what you're teaching, and so that when we do these interviews, I'll be able to come from an experiential uh, perspective rather than just reading about it. Oh, yeah, that's great. How's yeah. it going? It's it's really going well. I must say I have noticed an increased sense of joy. And oh, that sounds very good. I really have. I mean, it, it's it's a quite a remarkable difference, not just a little bit. And at the same time, I've had some overwhelming experiences that have come on the, you know, on the, in my everyday life, things that have been um, coming into my life that I've had to deal with, big situations, and that, that have, have temporarily thrown me off balance. But um, I've bounced right back again. And, ah, uh, yeah. That, sound, that, sounds, that sounds very typical. Uh huh. Uh, of uh, beginning practice right at the beginning. Uh, many people, they, I don't know how many days you've been doing it and if you've been keeping up with twice a day. Pretty uh, much, pretty much since we last did the interview. A month, so a month that's uh, almost a month. And, yes. Um, that's, that's really a good start and, and, and that's good confirmation you're having in daily activity. You know, people, people sometimes look for very dramatic things to happen, especially during meditation, which is, you know, if, if, if the thought comes up, oh, when am I going to feel this fantastic bliss, uh, guess what the procedure is? Oh, I'm thinking something else. I'll just easily come back to the mantra. Yes. So, but there can be expectations during the practice, and, and people will have expectations outside of practice, too, all of which really has nothing to do with the procedure itself and going out and living your life fully. And then just as you said, you notice, hey, you know, I feel more settled somehow, and I feel more happy somehow, mm -hmm. and I can deal with situations better somehow, and that somehow is abiding, abiding inner silence coming up behind your whole uh, mental process and, and also your physical yes. uh, circumstances as well. Yes. So that's it's a very good start. As you know, uh, the uh, Sanskrit name for this uh, inner silence that we talk about is Satchit Ananda, yes. which means absolute bliss consciousness. And it's a, it's a state of non-movement, it's a state of stillness, a state of inner witness, if you will. Uh, but when we're out in activity, that silence will move with us to one degree or another. And uh, many of the techniques that we use later in AYP have to do with stimulating stillness into our activity. And joy is really the first manifestation of that movement. Yes. Into, into the into the relative existence so wonderful it's a, it's a wonderful experience you're having yes